Howdy, Daisy Air Gunners. We're back again today, and today we're going to show you an oldie for sure. This is a uh, Model 80 long rifle, Daisy. This is, uh, it's probably seen a little bit of better days, but it's still a, a solid runner, I'll say that. First off, we'll uh, get you a look overall from uh, muzzle to the buttstock. This is a bottle cap, and with your favorite loading system, the port in the top. How about that? <laughs> yeah, quite messy trying to load these here. Yeah. This uh, BB gun, I had gotten it, and it was, uh, it was somebody had blued it, and uh, didn't do a horrible job on it. But uh, it did pretty good. Got a wider band on this one. A little hole for a strap, I guess. The forend on it is um, droopy, a little bit uh, uh, wonky there. A hot dog, as they they say in the community. But it's it's a daisy, you know. Yeah, a little saggy. But that's, that's what a lot of them did. This one had the holes on the side for the optional. Uh, scope mount from Daisy at the time. This is the um, three star lever on this one. Get it to focus in on that. And it doesn't look like it's going through right now, so we'll see if we can get the name on this one to show up at least. There we go. See the Model 80 Daisy Long Rifle. It's a registered number. And this one is a Plymouth, Michigan Daisy. So this is before they went to Rogers on this one. Like I said, somebody has reworked this one in, the, in its time, but uh, they didn't, didn't trash anything, we'll say that. It looks good. And there we go. There's the three-star lever I was talking about. Little interesting graphic they have on the side of it there, where they, they do that. And a big logo of the long rifle there. You got a guy kneeling, Daisy Long Rifle. Now, I've seen a few of these. I've had uh, I've had about three of these rifles here. One of them I, I sent over to uh, Shane Bruce, I think, but his was the same, same way there. You know, they put this. Uh, graphic on the back of the stock. I guess it looked like a butt plate or some kind of a decorative diamond look to it. And uh, this one had the uh, bit piece of metal in it for a uh, strap. I guess it may have had a strap on it at one time, but it did come that way. And this one here has the um, the Daisy Credo in the butt stock. I thought that was a really, really neat touch there. And this says, I pledge myself to protect people, animals, and property in my community and my community by always aiming and shooting my rifle safely. You got a picture of the Daisy Boy there, Sandin. The neat little touches they put on these guns back then. Really cool. Like I said, this side of the stock has that really interesting logo. Uh etched embossed into that and then this side here doesn't have anything on it it's just the regular wood now this stock here actually from my best judgment has probably been leaned up in this manner because it has got a warp in it like something else it's not horrifically bad it's about a half inch to almost three quarters of an inch off to the left side if we can make that out hold on a second Okay, you can see it a little better there on that end. But you can see how it curves over quite a bit on that side. And it's not a deal breaker. It's still there. It's still solid. It's just uh, going to come off of your shoulder a little bit proud on that side. And there you go. Like I said, that's the overall look at this one. And the long rifle, this one had the adjustable set screw in it so you could raise and lower your elevation on your rear sight. And that, uh, that had the, uh, the two-step notch in the rear. I really like that sight picture on these. 
because it kind of draws your eye kind of like a, a full buckhorn sight in a way. This is not a buckhorn, but it, uh, you know, that second step down kind of gives you that uh, impression with that. So, yeah. But it's a, it's a dandy little rifle. We'll get you one uh, dry fire from it here. Good smooth stroke on it. Decent little healthy thump to it. Not, uh, not bad at all. This one had the uh, original folded metal lever on, or trigger on it. And straight lever. No curve in that one. So there is an example of the Model 80 Daisy Long Rifle for you guys. And uh, there you have it. Like I said, you can tell by looking at it that the forend is a little droopy over time, I guess. The hot, cold, hot, cold, or just the reaction. Of quite a few of those stocks did that. And I, I don't have many, thank goodness, that's warped that bad. But it, uh, it still is an original example of, uh, of what uh, Daisy did back then with some of their models. And they did pretty good with it, I think. Good looking rifle. So thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. If you like what you saw, maybe hit that subscribe. And if not, throw us that thumbs up on the way out and leave comments. We welcome those. And once again, thanks. We appreciate it. And in the meantime, until the next video, let's keep these smooth bores in the bullseye. Take care, guys.